Hello, in this video we will find the values of x in x to the power 6 minus x to the power 3 is equal to 2, where x belongs to real numbers. So let's start. I write x to the power 6 as x to the power 3 or to the power 2 minus this we have x to the power 3 is equal to 2. Then from here we will let m equal to x to the power 3. So the equation now becomes m squared minus m is equal to 2. Since we have a quadratic equation, we will equate everything to 0. So we have m squared minus m minus 2 is equal to 0. Then from here we will find two values that when you multiply them, you will get negative 2, but when you sum them up, you will get negative 1, because the coefficient of m here is 1. So the values are negative 2 and then 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So let's put these values into the equation. We have m squared plus m minus 2m minus 2 is equal to 0. Then from these two terms, we will take m out. So we will have m times m plus 1. Then from these two terms, we will take negative 2 out times, here we are left with m plus this side 1. And this is equal to 0. Now we have m plus 1 m plus 1, we can factor it. So m plus 1 times this side we are left with this m. Then this side we are left with negative 2 and this is equal to 0. So m plus 1 is equal to 0 or m minus 2 is equal to 0. If you subtract 1 from each side of the equation, we have m to be negative 1, or if we add 2 to both sides of this equation, m is equal to 2. But remember, initially we let m to be equal to x cubed, right? So when m is equal to negative 1, we have x cubed is equal to negative 1. Or when m is equal to 2, we have x cube is equal to 2. So we are going to consider these two equations, right? Let's consider this one first. We will equate everything to 0. So we have x to the third power plus 1 is equal to 0. And remember, if we cube this one, it is still 1, right? So 1 to the power 3 is the same as 1. But remember, if you have a to the power 3 plus b to the power 3, an identity, right? This is the same as a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So this is an identity. We are going to apply the same idea here. So it means that x to the third power plus 1 to the third power is the same as x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1, right? And this is equal to 0. So from this equation, x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. And straight away we can see that from this equation x is equal to minus 1 as one of the solutions. Then from this equation before we solve you discriminate. You find the discriminant which is delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Right? b is the coefficient of x so we will have negative 1 squared minus 4 times a 
a is the coefficient of x squared which is 1 then c is the constant which is 1 so we're gonna have theta to be negative 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1 that is still 4 so it means that theta is equal to minus 3 but note if theta is equal to so let me write all of them here if theta is less than zero it means the quadratic equation has no real root if theta is equal to zero then it means that the quadratic equation has equal root and if theta is greater than zero then it means that the quadratic equation has real root right so since theta is less than zero it means that the quadratic equation has no real root if you solve this, we are going to get imaginary answers, right? So from the question, it is stated that x belongs to real numbers, right? So we are not going to consider imaginary solutions. Now let's come to this equation. x cubed is equal to minus 2, right? So I'm going to write that one here. x cubed. is equal to 2 right now from here we will raise each side of the equation to the power 1 over 3 so 2 to the power 1 over 3 so that this and this will go so we have x is equal to 2 to the power 1 over 3 which is the same as if you don't want it this way you can write it as cube root of 2 so in all, we got x value to be x is equal to negative 1 or x is equal to 2 to the power 1 over 3. But let's go ahead and then test our answers and see whether they satisfy the equation. So from here, when x is equal to negative 1, we have x to the power 6. So this is going to be negative 1 to the power 6 minus negative 1 to the power 3 must be equal to 2. So let's see whether it will be equal to 2. Since the power here is even number, we are going to get plus 1. Then minus, the power here is an odd number, so we are still going to get minus 1. So we have minus minus and automatically it will tend to be positive. So we have 1 plus 1 which is 2. And of course, the left hand side is equal to 2. Now let's test and see the other one when x is equal to 2 to the power 1 over 3. So we're going to have 2 to the power 1 over 3 or to the power 6 minus 2 to the power 1 over 3 or to the power 3. If we simplify this, we are going to get 3 goes into 6 2 times. So we have 2 to the power 2 minus this will also cancel this we are left with 2 here 2 to the power 2 is 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2 so it means that the answers are correct subscribe to my channel for more videos thanks for watching you can go through the process and if you have any problem you can let me know that in the comment section bye bye